here at the actuator, I wanted to show you what the CPU looks like. That is a new CPU. This would be an IQ CPU. Notice a much smaller package, and in comparison, here's what the uh, current CPU looks like. Go wider angle to get that whole CPU in the picture. But that's what a current uh, model CPU looks like. It's about uh, uh, mid-2000s technology for industrial controls. And industrial controls, they still work great. Um, smooth operation, all that, of the current units, but uh, industrial controls uh, tend to move a, a little bit, uh, progress a little bit slower than consumer electronics. But um, we were able to take advantage of a whole lot of new technology over the past decade or so. So if you look at this new CPU, uh, you see on the right side here, that's where all your I.O. Uh, is going to be for your new uh, IQ2 CPU. And then uh, everything to the left, you're going to see some Ethernet connections and all those analog or uh, all the different signals coming in on the left-hand side to these connections here. So that CPU, uh, again, uh, a lot more processing power, a lot more memory, and a lot more everything. And that CPU does not have a battery in it uh, to maintain your uh, your uh, settings. So uh, there's no battery that needs to be replaced uh, in order to maintain settings over time. The current one actually has a battery uh, that does need to be replaced in it in order to maintain the settings over time. Uh, so it does have a, a, a volatile, it's got a battery that, that, that keeps the memory in place. It needs to be changed about every five years on our current units, but the new one, there's no need for that. So a smaller, better, higher tech, faster processor, more memory, no battery. Easier maintenance, all the good stuff you hope for in a new G-Force.